And could London's traditional pie and mash get protected status? Uh, meanwhile, campaigners are hoping to secure protected status for traditional pie and mash, which has its roots in East London. Yeah, they want to use some of the unique features like parsley liquor sauce and the addition yeah. of chilli vinegar to gain this kind of protected status. The MP Richard Holden will lead a debate on the issue at Westminster Hall this afternoon. There's a lot of liquor there, isn't there? <laughs> what? Swimming in Westminster in... Hall? <laughs> no. Swimming in liquor. Now, there are some British foods that are so iconic they've been given a special status. Think Cornish pasties, Melton Mowbray pork pies, and now, maybe, pie and mash. Calling it the original fast food, Richard Holden, the MP for Basildon and Billericay, is asking for the quintessentially East End dish to be protected by the government. Sally Williams explains. I'm going to go for one pie yeah. mash. I want to say one pie and mash. <laughs> one pie and mash and liquor. One pie and mash liquor. One on one. One on yeah. one. One on one. That's the one. <laughs> I might not be a natural with the pie and mash, but I'm prepared to be a quick no learner. Look at that. Pie and mash is to London what pasties are to Cornwall. Smothered in liquor and sometimes dripping with chilli vinegar. Just right. You could have done a little bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a bit pathetic? It's a very tasty way to have lunch. Mmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tony is keeping this traditional East London fare going here in Waltham Abbey. It's not so much what's in it, it's the way it's made. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, I can tell you that now, but I'll have to kill you as you walk out the door, so... <laughs> <laughs> um. Your secret is safe. <laughs> Fans include Ray Winston and none other than David Beckham, to whom Tony is very grateful. And then he came in and, and it, made it, it made it sort of trendy. But Tony isn't Pie and Mash's only fan. Essex MP Richard Holden went to Parliament today arguing for it to have protected status. The Pie, Mash and Liquors are freshly made uh, to authentic family-owned recipes passed down through generations uh, like precious heirlooms. Something that, let's say, in Italy or France would be instantly recognised as something worth celebrating and preserving. An idea this food journalist shares. It's classic, it's an identity, it's, a, it's an East London institution, Pie and Mash. Um, ask Danny Dyer, you know, he loves it. He bought a house based on there being a Pie and Mash shop nearby. Back at Tony's, it's a no-brainer. They've been eating the stuff for decades. And what's your order? A double-double with two pies, two mash and liquor. <laughs> you properly go for it? Yeah. My husband doesn't eat it. Oh, really? No. What, what's he got then? Gravy. <laughs> He's got pie and mash, but because he's got gravy, not liquor, it's not pie and mash. Not pie and mash, no. Protected status will mean standardising the recipe, and it's now up to the government to decide. But for £5.50 a portion here, Cheers. it's already won their stomachs and their hearts. Sally's here with a bit of pie and a cup of tea. Yes, especially for you. I'm oh, desperate for that you. tea. But look at this. So have you ever had pie and mash before? Of course I have. I love it. Have you really? Yeah. I love pie and mash. See, I've never had it. I'm what? so impressed. I got to 43 and today was the first time I've had it. Now, what I learned today, right, so this, for those of you who don't know, the, the parsley sauce, the liquor, is like a white sauce but made with like a stock rather than milk. Oh, actually, I've never had that. Oh, that's okay. so good. It's so salty. Mm. And then you have to use a spoon. If you don't use a spoon, Spoon, well, there's something wrong with you. And then, <laughs> and then you use the spoon, <laughs> and then it's a meat butter. And, oh, it's just so good. So I really recommend it. And why not protected status? You know, if the Cornish can do it, why can't we? Anyway, I won't eat it now, but I will scoff it later.